Hey YouTube, Estacado5000 here, what's up? Here's another retro deck profile, it's called Junk and Debris. So here we go. We got one Dark Arm Dragon. We got uh, two Chaos Sorcerer. Um, this card can only be special summoned by removing one Light and one Dark Monster from your graveyard. Then once per turn, while this card's face up on the field, you can remove from play one face up monster on your opponent's side field. This card cannot declare an attack that shouldn't use the effect. So, but it's still a pretty good monster. 2300 attack, 2000 defense, and it's a dark attribute, so it's like food for the dark arm dragon's effect, obviously. Then you got one cyber dragon, in case you go against gadgets, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, obviously. Then you got one Armageddon Knight. When this is summoned, you can dump one dark attribute monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then you got free junk Synchron. When this is normal summoned, you could special summon one monster from your graveyard. That's a level 2 monster with, um, I think it's, uh, no, it doesn't matter what attack it is, but it has to be level 2 or lower. But the effects of that monster are negated, basically. Then you got, um, Free Debris Dragon. Um, this monster's effect, when it's normal summon, you can special summon one monster from your graveyard with 500 attack or less onto the field. This monster can, o this monster can only be used for a synchro summon of a dragon type monster. So you can't like go into Dark Strike Fighter, Black Wing Armor Master with this. So for this, if you can go for a level seven play, you can special summon Exploder Dragon Wing, Black Rose Dragon, um, or Ancient Fairy Dragon. So those are the options. But it's a pretty good monster though. Or if you have like Dandelion and a Treeborn Frog on the field, if you had Treeborn Frog on the field prior to summoning Debris Dragon, bring back Dandelion. You can go into like Stardust Dragon or Red Dragon Archfiend. So that's another good play. Then you got two Neospatian and Dark Panther, two Neospatian and Glow Moss, one Neospatian and Grand Mole, and two Cross Porter. Um, we're going to get to these monsters in just a moment. Um, one Sangin, one Dandelion. When this is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon two Dandelion tokens to your side of the field, and it's really good with the Bree Dragon. Then you got one Treeborn Frog. Obviously, when you have no spell and trap cards on the field during your standby phase, you can special summon this back onto the field. Now, you got the two cards, um, Carvert Contact. Um, you can only activate this card when you control no monsters. You send one Neospatian from your hand and one Neospatian from your deck to the graveyard. You could draw two cards. So this is where these monsters come in, obviously. You know what I mean? And um, this is also a Debris Dragon summon target as well. So that's another benefit. Cross Porter's effect is you could send one monster you control to the graveyard and special summon one Neospatian monster from your hand. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Neospatian monster from your deck to your hand. So basically, when this is sent to the graveyard, you can add one of these to your hand. And then if you have no monsters on the field and you have this in your hand, you can activate this and that Neospatian from your hand and one from the deck to the graveyard to draw the two cards. So that's that's this is where these monsters come in solely for this card right here. And this can be used with Debris Dragon's effect, obviously. So see, that's a lot of options right there, man. Now for the rest of the spell cards, you got uh, two Allure Darkness. Then you got two Foolish Burial where you could dump the Dandelion or Treeborn Frog more quickly. It's pretty cool. Then you got uh, one pot of av two pot of Avarice. You can select up to five monsters from your grave graveyard, return them to the deck, and draw two cards. So it's like recycling your resources, and you can reuse them again. It's pretty cool, and you draw two cards out of it, so it's pretty awesome. Then you got one reinforcements in the army, one brain control, one mind control. You can use these cards to steal your opponent's monster to go for a synchro, synchro summon. So it's pretty cool. Then you got one heavy storm, one mystical space typhoon to wrap up the spells. Now for the trap cards, you got two bombless trap hole. Two Raigeki Break, one Mirror Force, one Transfer Tribute, and one Divine Wrath. Now for the um, for the extra deck, you got one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, one Magical Android, three Junk Warrior, one Goyo Guardian, one Iron Chain Dragon, one Gaia Knight, one Black Rose Dragon, one Exploder Dragon Wing, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Stardust Dragon, one Red Dragon Archfiend, and then two Colossal Fighter. So that's the build. Hope you all enjoy. More videos coming soon. Later, guys.